you have dealership branding and then you have people like myself who are branding themselves. Yep. And that's mm-hmm. where it gets a little bit interesting, right? Because I, I, I fully believe that you need, you need your, your salespeople. And, and, and I'm, I know not all of them are going to go for this. Majority don't go for it. So if you have two or three, let's say, let's do it. They need to show their individuality with their branding. Um, and then you need to have your dealership branding. And I know there needs to, needs to be some cohesiveness, cohesiveness between there, but you don't have to ne- necessarily niche down from the dealership brand. That's going to be more widespread. Then you have your salespeople who are going to reach out and like, I maybe I'm into hockey, so I'm going to reach the hockey people. And yep. there could be a female there that's into, I don't know, you know, whatever, whatever she's into. And there's another guy there that's into hunting. And I think that, you know, that's where you're going to capitalize on, on the branding of those individuals. Provided that you have somebody in the dealership who's holding the web together and watching how this is going, not restricting them, right? You, yeah. you don't want to restrict the personalities, but you want to make sure that you're, you know, you're, you're at least, so they're not go- deviating and, and going outside of what, you know, what the dealership um, holds to be important, of course, obviously. Right. Absolutely. And, and, you know, I mean, to, to your point and, and to stick right with this, um, I hire and, and I like to look at folks based on who they are as a core value and what their, what their presence looks like online um and and if if they're the type of people that fit in well with our core values of the dealership then whatever their particular brand is is fine you know I, i've got a i've got a uh, a football and basketball coach that writes his own rap songs i've got a family man that has like four kids and and that's what he talks about and then i've got you know the honest car guy that that uh you know did some time in prison and loves talking about um, uh, what he did and how he changed his life. And uh, all, all of those folks, it's, it's very authentic, but it fits in line with the core values of the dealership. Mm-hmm. I think it's important to say, this is what we as a dealership believe in. And then it's up to the salespeople to then find who their target audience is and then speak to that target audience. 